Well, hello friends. This is a massive grocery shopping video, but as you may have seen in my video before this one, hey look, it's a tree on my yard. The tree that did not fall on my house. It was here and I prayed and it fell in that direction. Thank you, Lord. Many things are happening in my local area and with the high winds, I feel, I feel like a little newscaster. Did you know that in high school I, I got an internship with a local news station and I wanted to be a newscaster, so I do YouTube. <laughs> Maybe this is that being fulfilled. Anyway, with the high winds, this is not laughter. This part is not. But again, I've got to take my endorphins when, when I can get them and life. Anywho, we have a lot of wildfires in our area. There were 15 as of last night. Many of them have been contained as of this morning. The local schools in our two local counties, like I am half a mile from this county line here, they're closed today. The top of the mountain, which in that, yeah, that direction over there, top of the mountain, that road is closed, which is the other end of my road. Lots of roads are closed. Lots of power lines down. I mean, this, this tree being in my yard and not falling on my house is, you know, the least of the worries of my local area. We have a lot of firefighters and volunteers and first responders that are out working hard today. So before I go massive grocery shopping in the local city, we're gonna run to my local Walmart and fill a cart. I mean, I'm, I'm one woman by myself, but I'm gonna get what I can. I'm gonna get several cases of water and Gatorade. Water, Gatorade, and non-perishable snacks is what they're asking for. And we have a local fire department five minutes away that is taking those donations and so let's go do that and then we'll go do all of our shopping things and many uh, many people families have unexpectedly been evacuated and people are quickly emergency level moving their animals I saw yesterday where local farms around me are opening up for people to bring their livestock and their horses and their their large farm animals I believe they set up one of the middle schools as a place where people can bring their like cats, dogs, smaller animals. So it's just, it's happening all around me and I can see the, the smoke from the wildfires here today. We are supposed to get rain tomorrow. And so this video will not, it's not in real time. It's probably gonna be a week or so out when you see this, but you can just look up the wildfires in Sh the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. I know the smoke um, is up in DC, which is only about an hour and a half away and such. So hopefully by the time you see this video, this is all put out, but we'll at least do what we can to help today. Okay, so we're in Walmart. Of course, Sharp Shop would be the place to go, but that's 25, 30 minutes away from where I am and the firehouse is just a few minutes away and Walmart is here and we are here. And so we're gonna get things here. Let's see, how many times can I say here? Oh, look, okay. Maybe cereal bars, big boxes of those. And we'll do granola bars. And then these, I've never gotten these before, but they're supposed to have lots of good protein in them, aren't they? Okay. And I don't know about gluten-free needs, but got these. Can't reach them all, but there's another box of gluten-free. Okay, here's the snacks that we got. I'm just grabbing a variety of things and trying to grab things too that say protein. They do have, cause you know, I don't usually buy my bars here. Usually I'm a sharp shopper, but 48 bars, this family size pack is nice. We got strawberry ones, these variety of bars. These also said protein. And at least, I mean, I'm glad we found a couple boxes of gluten-free ones. You know, everyone has different needs. 
So let's go do drinks. I've got to think of what I can load on my own. I may have to actually get smaller cases that I can handle. Um, if I had you know, a bunch of teen boys with me, we would go for those. Let's see here. Same thing with the water. I'm not gonna get the giant cases because I don't want to hurt myself, but I'll get these smaller cases. I got the Gatorade. Well, it's a small amount. It'll just, you know, be one little speck compared to what a lot of other folks are doing. But we are getting them some more bars and Gatorade and a variety of drinks and of course water to go to the efforts. It was nice Walmart sent someone out to help me load. But there's a bunch of our snacks and water. And then our little baby trunk area here that's so precious. So I'm at a stoplight. There's the John Henry General store. Power truck's going by. But you might be able to see all that smoke on the mountain there. I think you can. All right, so we just dropped all that off. They did come and help me get out of my car. And uh, it was funny. <laughs> Hauling out the cases of water and I have two squares from those sheet pan pancakes sitting randomly on that little windowsill that a kid left there but here's something really nice happy community that i see i'll show you see right there that truck just came with that whole load of walmart water and then inside the door there was just pallets and pallets of water so uh and i was laughing I was joking with him as we were carrying in all the bags of granola bars and snacks i'm like i'm sorry guys i'm a mom all i know how to do is buy you granola bars <laughs> And they laughed. It was a fun time for, I mean, what this is. As I say, we have to get our endorphins where we can, get our comedy where we can. These guys are here, like, watching the mountain burning. And it's very, very serious. But in life, I mean, my whole life is burning. And again, I need laughter to make it through. And I know these guys do too. Okay, friends, so we made it to Costco. I had to do some other errands. It's been several hours, but now we're going to go into Costco and do a massive grocery haul. Your guess is as good as mine if we're gonna make it to Sharp Shopper or not. Just depends on how Costco goes. What, what adventures are we gonna find in this store? Now what's coming up is I'm actually leaving the state. Don't worry, there's three other adults that are gonna be with my children, but I'm going out of state for a business trip. I'm gonna be gone six days and flying and lots of grown up mama stuff happening. So what I have been able to get done before I left is I got 200 and I think it was 216. It should be the video before this one, hopefully. 216 breakfast sandwiches, lots of bagel sandwiches, English muffin sandwiches and breakfast burritos. And then besides that, there are eggs and a variety of other things. I mean, a lot a lot of my kids, like I say, two thirds of them are teens and adults. So a lot of them can do other breakfast things if they would like. I wanted to get muffins and French toast done, but instead today, things came together for me to go out and do these things out and about instead of making French toast and 57 dozen muffins at home. So dinner wise at home, I do have those Trim Healthy Mama freezer meals that are in more individual portions and some family members will have those. But I also need to get easy Mama's Gone convenience food that they can just shove in the oven and be done. Perfect world. I mean, I could have also spent today doing a bunch of dinner freezer meals, but instead we're going to buy our freezer meals at Costco. And that's how this life goes. And I still haven't been able to decide whether I'm hot or cold today. So we'll take take jackets with us. Look at the weeping cherries. Woo! Those are beautiful though. All kinds of beautiful things.
Oh, and kid things. Look at those kites. These box kites are really fun. Those are $16.99. These chairs are fun. These hammock chairs. I got some of these at Walmart last year, but these are a nice size. And then these Anirondack chairs I also got here last summer. And the tree missed them. I'm so thankful. They are $1.39 this year, and they're really nice quality. They made it through the winter outside. It's a nice, sturdy-looking rocking chair for $1.89. It's actually a really good price for these two lemonades. So again, already gone, but we will get them for their week adventure without Mama home. I think I just paid more than this. They had to take snacks for some things, and I, think I paid more than that for them at Walmart. But I'm not going to actually get these pouches right now because they will be gone and I have regular applesauce they can pour in bowls. <laughs> but also take out a loan and buy batteries. These are good prices though for batteries. Got some double A's and triple A's. And I love this thing. All kinds of lovely outdoor things. Pretty much need to have my whole back porch ripped off and rebuilt. So I'm not thinking too many back porch ideas right now. So it's a good thing we got many acres and big yard to put other furniture in, right? And I do want to do a million um, dahlias. Let's see here. I got daylilies. We won't be doing the dahlias today, but we're going to come for the dahlias. I plan to part of my spring garden therapy, summer garden therapy, is we're going to do a whole cart whole cart of dahlias and plant them and it will be so good because as I keep saying those dahlias just held me just right last summer and that's what I'm going to focus on to start this year. I'm sorry but always with the scissors so hello hello more scissors in my life. These are some nice little glass tumblers I won't get them they will not last but they are nice Oh, these are some pretty glasses too. $16.99, I bet it's a nice. Oh, these are plastic. What does it say they're made out of? Well, they're not glass. I was like, oh, those are nice thick glass. These would actually last at my house. What does it say? Can't focus in. Green tumbler set. You're probably looking right at it. Anyway, they're very nice. We got lots of mason jars upstairs right now, so. Don't know that I have room for those. Oh, it's a Lazy Susan with a lid. That's nice. All oh, those little precious bowls. I like those. They're pretty. Look at that. Pretty well. That's. I say look at that, but I didn't actually show you the insides. Oh, I love them. I mean, they're they're so little and precious. But we will visit with them. Let's touch them all. So you get ten bowls for $9.99. These have, have held up really well. I've been having my own homemade rice bowls in those. I think I ended up getting, what, three sets? And you get four for $9.99. And this whole set is beautiful. And these are very nice. It's $44.99. Maybe at some point in life I'll just have a white set. I don't know, who am I? Okay, this is giving off all kinds of fun vibes. What is this? Multi-plate mini maker, seven removable plates, $23.99, so cute. Oh, well, here it is. I guess it's just like little waffles. Okay, well, we've got regular waffle makers, but little ones, that's cute. And then here is a Cuisinart digital air fryer toaster oven. $189, $40 off for $149. Visit the Blackstone, $369. There's a nice utility sink for $269. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to make this move yet, but one of my two dishwashers has officially gone to be with Jesus. We're making it with one, just like how we always did. And I mean, we used to not even have a dishwasher. Oh, cute plushies. Okay, but I'm telling a dishwasher story. Hold on. These hello, look, 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 look. Oh, so cute. And cheeseburger, so those are $24.99. Sorry, easily distracted by plushies. Can also be my shirt. But I think, well, what I need to do, it'll be at some point this spring. I need to call those good ones. Oh, I know. Buy it online. 
have it delivered and then have a local appliance company come and install it. There's like an appliance repair shop. I don't think they're gonna fix my dishwasher because things are so disposable, but they could install the new one for me. Oh wow, so we got Hershey's cookie and cream pretzels. That looks delicious. $7.79. I'm kind of going backwards here. Jalapeno chips. Maybe I'll get that for teens just for them to try. Oh, there's that kettle corn. Well, some people like that and some don't. I don't know. Please tell me to try it. Okay, I'm gonna, it's $7.99. That'll just be fun. Not to drink with, not to go with the lemonade problem. If I go to Sharp Shopper next, that'll be good. I should get them a box of Oreos. That always makes everybody happy. Who doesn't love a box of Oreos? Okay. okay I'm gonna give us a veggie straw break. Veggie straw break for now. And this is always the best deal, $4.99 for two pounds of chips. So let me get several bags. Okay, holy cow, boom chicka pop, only $3.69. So I guess it's boom chicka pop time. Okay, okay. Yes, I always need that. So this isn't really a monthly grocery haul, but it, it will spread over a couple weeks here. Okay, and they do like these. So you get two of them for $9.99. Check out the freezer room. Ah, now I need my jacket. Fine berries, nice. Got carrots. The only grapes that I'm seeing, $7.99. These are the red seedless. So this is what we need. We need Costco to have done our freezer meals for us. Now, those are good. And then they have these grilled chicken patties. Something different. Me dropping things, holding this. Okay. You know, we got two boxes of chicken. And Costco's gonna make our lasagnas. I probably only need two, but emergency lasagnas never hurt anybody. Now I like this brand, so it's General Sal's chicken for $13.99. It's gluten free, grain free, all those things. Okay, no breakfast sandwiches needed. <laughs> Ultimate fish sticks. Hmm. Lunch meat. I think we've got some in the freezer. I think we're okay with that. I'm going to skip it. Could be my downfall though, but I'm pretty sure we're good on that. Good milk prices, 293, 326, 370. I'm gonna skip the milk for today. We have we have a decent amount. I'm trying to find the trivia boxes that I like. Move from the other side. I don't see them down here. We just passed all the sugar things. Okay, they made a whole mountain of it right when you go in. This is, helps me get through life. There we go. Okay, I do need to refill our emergency ramen. It's been a bit, so I'm gonna see if I can get a suitcase full of it here.
actually like these a lot, so. Uh, oops, sit there. Oh, extra excitement here. There we go in the back, and there's lots of room in the middle to go hit Sharp Shopper. Alrighty, so now it's time to go into Sharp Shopper and see what they have. Also, Boom Chicka Pop, 99 cents. Sure, we'll give that a try. Big things of individual cheese at bags for 9.99. I always laugh at that name. creamers going on. the right time of day because there's not a lot of people in here right now. Look at that little bite-sized cookie dough. Yummy. I will tell you all the things that are yummy. Okay. Favorite spot to stop. Currently can't keep enough apples in the house, so I'll we'll get some apples. Let's see, Red Delicious. And I'll get one other type. Let's get Pink Lady. Okay, that might last a minute. We know our favorite spot that we visit. Good price on turkey, ground turkey, $1.49. I'm 
leaving it here for today. I'm leaving it here. Hope I don't regret it. Hey, look, we don't need those, ha ha. And I, we do have two boxes of freezer waffles too, so that's why I resisted the waffles. Resisted them here and at Costco. We do have fruit for smoothies, and I do think we have a cherry pie in the freezer. But I'll see if there's any other things. I mean, these might be used over two months. I don't know, but I'll come home and things are made with these, so they enjoy them. how everything is fit in here from these two little precious little uh, what is it mini massive mini massive grocery haul and whew, we got country air out here tonight I don't know there must they must be spreading it on the fields very uh, very big aroma going on all right friends so we filled a whole table not exactly a once a month grocery haul but definitely a couple week haul, a mama's going out of, out of town haul, and I don't have a whole freezer full of dinner freezer meals like how I would like. And so help me, help me sharp shopper in Costco. Thank you for making life nice and easy. And so I've got our Costco receipt and our sharp shopper receipt. So let's look at everything that I got. And so Sharp Shopper is just always fun. I like to call it the cheapest grocery store in America. And if you've never been, please stop by when you're in Virginia or Pennsylvania. There's several locations and you can go to sharpshopper.net to learn more about their stores. So these cases of yogurt, there's 12 in a case. They were $3.99 each. And we've got, I think there were two that were banana cream and two that are key lime pie and two that were another flavor. And I'm going to get my one pair of lone scissors. Don't worry, we got more at Costco to open up this yogurt to show you exactly which ones I got. And we had Tobin's third birthday party in here yesterday. So the kids did take down the uh, tablecloths and decorations on the table. We still have streamers and stuff up. The bread on the counter is for French toast for the freezer that I wanted to get done. But it, the whole bread might just be going in the freezer. 
and that'll be another adventure for when I get back. But I will be vlogging my travel adventure for you guys. Okay, oh, okay, toasted coconut vanilla. So two cases of toasted coconut vanilla, and let's see here. And again, the yogurt is where Sharp Shopper and I fell in love probably 22 years ago because my oldest is about to be 24 and I was in nursing school. The timeline, you know it. Okay, and then I got two cases of key lime. And then, okay, that's key lime. This looks like, okay, it looks like lemon meringue. That was it. And then two cases of lemon meringue. So, very delicious. There will be nine people here while I'm gone. And so there's some yogurt folks. Also, I got two, four, five. Five of these little brownie cups for a dollar each, 99 cents each, and then uh, five of these cookie cups. And again, I, I will just come in the house and a child has made a bunch of them. So that is nice. Now, these epic cookie dough kits were 99 cents each. I got four of them. And I was looking to see how many Looks like it makes potentially 12, 12 servings per container. So I got four. They'll have to read the directions back here, but it's just a fun little learning to cook thing. And sometimes these are here for a couple months and sometimes you just, they're just gone. So I don't think I've ever gotten the cookie kits before. And then got that nice big case, plastic wrap case here of these family size graham crackers. There's four packs in each one, 99 cents each. So we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 boxes. And the last case of graham crackers, I think we were through in about six weeks. These beverages are already gone, like how we like to say. So I got two things of orange juice. I mean, that's like one morning. And then these were two for a dollar, berry punch, but already gone. Same thing with the lemonade that we got at Costco. You know, our main beverages here are water or milk, and you can have ice cubes or not. Um, also, like I said, apples. I have not been able to keep everyone in apples. It's the thing right now. Super popular. Apparently, no one's ever had apples before. So I'm buying this many apples every week, even like with Walmart grocery pickup. It's 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 apple time, I guess, around here. The Boom Chicka Pop Cheddar Cheese. These were the last two bags that Sharp Shopper had, but for 99 cents. Okay, that's great. And then these Cheez-Its that are Scooby-Doo Cheez-Its for $2.99. Sure, Sharp Shopper, gladly. So this whole Sharp Shopper haul came to $102. And there was a lot more I could have got there and stocked up on, but I just kept it simple for this grocery haul. And then down here to the Costco side of life. Well, okay, we got the scissors. We got two more packs of batteries. We've talked about the lemonade. So I got two of these boxes, two four packs of the pepperoni pizza. And these were $13.99 each. And then we also got, coming on down here, I got two boxes of the cheese pizza. And so they'll do one box of four, you know, maybe for a lunch or maybe for a dinner. Sometimes they'll do eight, which is of course cooking ahead, but then they, they just have sliced pizza that's cold that then they microwave later, they'll they have leftovers. They cook big batch, okay? So I don't know which way they'll do it, but they'll have it. The lasagnas, I just always think this is the best deal on lasagna. Okay, these were $16.69 each, but that's for a two pack. I got two two packs. And then, uh, again, my kids do like these grilled chicken strips. They can eat them on salads. They'll just eat them like with some sauce and some fruit. Uh, a toddler meal would be some of these chopped up and some blueberries. So they will get used. Also got this one bag of jalapeno chips for folks to try. And that Boom Chicka Pop deal, like uh, besides the fact that I love saying the name, uh, it was amazing. I'm looking, looking, looking at my receipt. Okay, they were $5.99 originally with $2.30 off each bag, so that was great. Also, keeping myself stocked up on the Light Laughing Cow Cheese. I eat these on the Ezekiel English muffins with like some ham or another kind of deli meat. Um, there's just a lot of different THM things I will use this for. 
I have some kiddos and a carrot sticks, so I got two bags. We also like these baby bell cheeses around here. Now, I'm not going to take this whole box of protein bars cross country, but I'll probably take like five or six, just kind of put them where I can in my book bag. Where I am going, the meals are provided, but I also have some traveling around, and I just don't know. I, I don't know how things are gonna go. And I'm going to a location where um, I'll need to eat the meals provided or adapt those the best that I can. There won't be like restaurants and such. So again, you'll, you'll see that coming up probably in the next video. Um, or the one after that, but I just just want to have some options and I think these were I saw it on here Okay, 21 grams of protein. They're gluten-free What else? Oh here it is 10 net carbs um, Is what it ends up being so anyway, and I've had these before I mean they're they're kind of they're like better than nothing bars You know, I wouldn't want to eat them, but if I like have a crazy, uh, like longer than expected layover or, you know, there's just crazy things that happen. I, it is better than nothing. So got those and I got two things of red seedless grapes and I got the folks here. Um, I don't think I got enough hamburger buns and I did not. I feel like a failure already and I probably didn't get enough hot dog buns, but, um, to go with these, I got these chicken patties because I'm thinking they can do sheet pan chicken patties and we've been doing sheet pan burgers lately. And so there's that and there's the not enough buns. Here's emergency teenager tortilla chips. Those go quickly. Just for something different, um, I got this orange chicken and then I also got this General Sal's chicken and this one is uh, gluten-free, grain-free. Also, these are popular. I think I do have, no, we used those the other night. No more chicken nuggets. So anyway, I like these. These are good ones. They can eat them, of course. These are the sweetener packs I like to get from Costco. I got these meat sticks and these, again, um, I might end up being able to do like kind of a pack with me type video to show you how I'm packing. I know that I have, hold on here. It's like, climb a chair with me. <laughs> I know that I have, I've gotten these, um, I've taken on trips before. So these little collagen packets, I put collagen in my coffee and um, a variety of things and doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, um, it's trying to show you, trying to show you this box I hadn't opened, but they're little individual packets. Still can't see those, hold on. This is where I need, need a third arm. Okay, so we'll just try to pack them around in my travel things as good as possible and see what else I have. I have some teas, but you know me, I'm always trying to like pack food, feed myself, feed other people, so we'll see. Got the hot dogs, and I, I have shown several of the kids just how to dump one of these three packs into the slow cooker and cook it for a few hours, and then it's ready to go, and they can set the hot dog bun buns out, and some grapes, and some condiments, and maybe even the Cheez-Its down there, and they're good. They have a dinner. These ultimate fish sticks just sounded delicious. I don't know that they're going to like them because they're used to Walmart fish sticks, so these are kind of some fancy fish sticks. The cheese pizzas. And then these are the burgers for, again, sheet pan burgers. Um, what was it? Someone told me there was something that we needed that I didn't get. I'm trying to think what it was. I don't, don't remember. And that's the good thing, too. While I'm gone, I can put in a little pickup order on my phone. One of these folks that can drive can go pick it up. I was just looking at the milk situation. I think we have six gallons. Um, and then we have these other beverages. And of course we have water and ice cubes because we hear the ice maker all the time. So they'll be okay. And then we have our big box of ramen. And uh, this, will, this will be over several months, but there's definitely times that a teen will, you know, make themselves some ramen in the afternoon or whatever. Oh, and Oreos. Mm-hmm. So looking at my Costco receipt, so I spent a total of $570.69. That was including tax and everything at Costco. And then I spent another $102 at Sharp Shopper. And like I say, 
This will go over a few weeks. Breakfast are more than taken care of. And the bread, again, that I was going to do French toast with, some of that will stay out and they can do sandwiches and such with that. The rest of that will get frozen and we will continue that project when I get back. Thank you so much for getting the cart full of granola bars and beverages for our local fire and rescue folks. They are still working this evening and I couldn't film it obviously when I was driving on the interstate back home, but this whole side of the valley is just full of smoke. It's really bad on that other side of the mountain. And again, by the time you see this video, it should, you know, hopefully prayerfully it is over and done, but just a lot happening in my area in the last 24 hours. I did see this afternoon after we made our donation that they are saying they need no more donations at this time because the whole community has responded as far as the, the water, the call, there was a big call for water and snacks. So as of this afternoon, that was fulfilled. Okay, so this morning they were saying donation needs were for water, Gatorade, non-perishable food items. They gave the location, so that's the one we responded to. The reason I'm reading this to you is I know a wide variety of people all around the world watch this, and I just want to have my information straight, even though, again, by the time you watch this, we should be on the other side of this. Um, so six hours ago, they said all drop-off areas for food and water are full, but they were saying monetary donations could go through the American Red Cross, and they had a phone number for that. As of one hour ago, it's 2,000 acres, and then another 120 acres, and then another area with 600 acres. So anyway, because this is a big part of this video, I just wanted to give you like some local updates of things that are happening. I did have a local friend reach out to me this afternoon, and they have farming equipment. They're getting ready to take care of some trees on their property. And they offered to come over and take care of my giant tree that's laying down for me in my front yard. And when I get back from this upcoming trip, I told them I would connect with them and I would love for them to come over and help us with that. That would be fantastic. So thank you for shopping with me today and going along on these adventures. Thank you for being a friend, just like the Golden Girls say. And I appreciate you. And I will chat with you in those comments below. And I'll see you very soon with a brand new video, I think. It's like fingers crossed, feet crossed. I think we're getting back to two to three videos a week around here. Uh-huh, I think so. I think, I think this is our two to three video a week era. You think so? I think so, okay. See you soon, bye-bye. Okay, so my friend John Henry from the John Henry General Store, a little bonus footage here for you, just updating you on our local area. He just shared a picture and it shows the whole mountain range three minutes away a blazing and it's nighttime and it's I don't have another vocabulary word other than incredible it's devastating and it's beautiful so the kids who've got groceries put away who want to come with me are going to jump in the vehicle and we're gonna go take some pictures and such and I'll share it with you guys too okay so we are at the end of our driveway I got cars coming but if you can see that red line, that's part of part of what's coming down. Okay, so our whole town is here, but the, we've pulled over. Lots of other folks are around us, and we're just capturing this time in our local history. And so it's, I believe this is the other side of the 2,000 acres. There's much more on the other side happening, and this is coming down this side. And hey, look, bonus grocery haul. So. Several of the things that I got that I showed you all last evening when I was filming are gluten-free, but there's also some gluten-free specific snack holes 
that needed filled up. So I got these um, for my gluten-free folks, these chicken breast fries to try. And also a small thing of the Great Value Nuggets, you know, gluten-free things, you just gotta kinda try some things first to see. Um, I know that this cinnamon swirl cake is a winner with them and the brownie mix definitely is. I got these Annie's gluten-free um, crispy bars, some cookie mix, monster cookie mix, you know, lots of fun baking because when you're gluten-free, you gotta find your fun where you can. Uh, banana muffin bread. This pancake mix is a winner. I don't know about these gluten-free uh, waffles. So we're gonna give these a try. Um, I know that the mac and cheese is a winner, and I know that these Annie's bars are a winner. These kind bars, you know, we got these for the firefighters yesterday. They are gluten-free and they're marked down to $4 each. So again, this is kind of like a gluten-free sampling. Plus, yes it does, you do see the M&Ms, I know. Uh, gluten-free sampling and some favorites, yay.